studying this week, I came across this word that I keep rolling around in my mind, and it so perfectly ties in with Thanksgiving that I wanted to share it with you. It's a Hebrew word, and the word is dayenu. What it means translated is, it would have been enough for us. I found it in a worship song that the Jews have sung, and it's this call and response song where they are remembering the Lord's faithfulness. They are saying, if you had only delivered us from Egypt, it would have been enough for us. If you had only fed us manna in the desert, it would have been enough for us. And there's something so beautiful about recounting the Lord's faithfulness. We all have those moments in our lives where it feels like God has come and showed himself in mighty ways, that prayer answer, that rescue. And it's interesting, the farther we get away in time from that moment, it almost feels like God's character and power and faithfulness fades in time. Uh, we forget how big he is, but God is a God above all time. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and he is still working in your life in mighty ways like he was at those big moments that we remember. In a time and culture where we are always chasing the next thing, the next iPhone is coming on the market, we have the next prayer request. I think there is something so beautiful about this Hebrew word, dayenu, it would have been enough for us. God, if you had just done that, it would have been enough for us. Because ultimately, the gift of Jesus, Jesus leaving heaven to come to earth, to live a perfect life and die a horrible death on the cross, to give us this eternity in heaven with him, if that's all he would have done, it would have been enough for us. So I hope that you have a good Thanksgiving with your family, and thank you for listening.